Yeah, guys. Okay, time for some good old-fashioned ranting. After you guys, for those who enjoyed Sonic Unleashed Review, it's Slot Cop 23, and once again, hold up. We don't got all day here. It's Brian. I was just trying to see if I could rickroll everybody for some dumb reason. Okay. Today's topic of my lovely rants of Team Slide panels, um, we are going to be attacking Sonic and the Black Knight. The reviews it has gotten from IGN and game trailers. Okay. Why? Why would... 4,000 times better. Yeah, game trailers is still a good site, but I can understand some of their grunts. I think they gave a better score than... They gave a better score. I can actually somewhat agree with the score game trailers gave, gave it. Uh, so, honestly, I think the game is a 7.5 seven, a seven at best. Not well done at Sonic Unleashed. Perfect. You gave me... I had the same grading, and you keep on... You don't even know, and I gave it a 7.5. I said at least a 7.5, and now you say a 7.5. Why do you always get the same grade? I don't know. I don't know, but still. The game wasn't as bad. The game wasn't as perfected like Unleashed. You know what I mean? It's not perfected. It's not... The game is you know, I mean, perfected, like, it's made to a status to where it can be really good. And I thought this game could have been longer and all that. You know, it's... Black Knight could have been longer. And the boss fights were too Pretty easy short. and all that. I Except seen... the second line's a lot. Oh, snap. <laughs> I've seen that, too. Okay, anyways. Now, IGN, they are the main offenders here. What was their score again? 3.9, 3.7, what was 3. it? 3.9. 3.9. Okay, yeah, they rank this lower than next gen. Question. Even though I like next gen, Unleash and Black Knight kick the crap out of it. Trust me, it does. It so, gives you somewhat nostalgia and somewhat new ch- kind of gimmick that actually. I helps. have heard, I have seen the review a bit, and I have heard from what people say. Like, he basically complains about Sonic with the sword idea and how unresponsible it is and how the, the like levels. Just like the boys. Like the, no, like the levels no. are combat heavy where you're just doing a bunch of combat. Um, I've seen, yeah, I've seen a, I've seen a play through of this game. Sonic is fast. Sonic and, dude. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. You can jump over the enemies and keep running at, at Sonic speed. Well, really fast though. He said he um. Let me see. What was his name again? Matt Matt Karma Masina. I'll just call him Matt M- Machinima. What is with these bizarre names? Don't their mothers don't their mothers have any self dignity for their ch- for their child? First Hillary Goldstein. Now Matt. Casa's missing a blue. What is you? Freaking German or something, though? Anyways, on to, the, on to what you got to say, Holmes. Okay, Matt Casa Cinema, blah, 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 said Sonic was slow. And I actually slow. made a comment about it, saying that he is not slow if you're not sword fighting. <coughs> or if you use the um, soul surge while no enemies are around, you can go to, like, maybe Sonic 3... Si- Sonic um unleash speed without the beat without the boost. Also, so the funny thing is that I am um, actually seen this. I like I seen people. I seen gameplay where he's fighting with the sword. It's funny. He runs. He's running and he's like boom, get out my way, boom. He's moving really fast still, even with even attacking enemies. I'm like, how is he slow? He's not slow. It's- and you know, it's thanks to these guys that make a lot of Sonic fanboys buy into it. Well, you see, I got attacked for it. They go like, well, this site said this game got that. Well, I don't care what that site said. I care about what you thought, what you think about the game, what you actually thought about it. Well, it's all about your personal opinion. Why do you hear what Harley Goldstein has to say or what um, one of the dudes on GameSpot has to say while your opinion counts means more than theirs? Also, here's a little tip to everybody. Don't trust any kind of review. Don't even trust Nightwing, even though he is a great reviewer. Do not trust any kind of review because it's not going to affect your opinion. Because you might play it and you might like it, even though people say it's the most, it's the worst game in existence. They buy into it. They buy into it like there's no tomorrow. They buy into that stuff like it's crazy. (coughs) I don't even pay attention to that. I don't even like reviews for good games. Because it just feels like, you know, they're just going to hoard the crap out of it. Like, RE5 got picked on because it said it's too much like Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 4. But RE4 is still a good game. 
I don't know. You know what... Resident Evil Five got a lot of criticism because they were, people were saying it was racist. Oh, it's not. Dang, I don't. It is not racist, even though because yeah. they it, the reason they said it was racist was because white people were going to Africa to kill zombies. Um, she Sheva's not black. Sheva is not white. She's black. Or well, she's. She's black, and Chris is uh, Caucasian. I don't see what they're talking okay, about. Okay, let's get to the Sonic Unleashed drama mag- I mean, um, Sonic the Sonic Black Knight. Black now, this g- the gang gets constantly attacked because of the Sonic with the sword. Why does he have a sword? Why does he have a sword? Even oh, Sonic no, said... Pa- nah, this is the worst gimmick yet. yet even, even Sonic e- said the sword isn't bad. It's, it's a little bit unresponsive, but it isn't even that bad. And it actually is a pretty good gimmick. Sonic with a sword... Sonic's already it, cool it's with his feet. the worst gimmick. I think the worst gimmick of it's, all is the gun. Not the, hall, not the um sword, but even though I like this game, the guns for Shadow the And the off. vehicles were god awful. I remember those pieces of crap. Those pieces of crap. Even though the motorcycle was all right. I love the motorcycle. I like just. I hate it. that stupid Jeep. It moved like a freaking turtle. It's like okay, let's go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's like the thing moved like a freaking turtle, but Black Knight's a interesting game, and I even I just looked at the game and it looks pretty solid. It's not a good game. I mean, it's a good game, but it's not <laughs> like Unleash. It, in that it is not like Unleash, it actually plays. It feels like more of Secret Rings, which is a good game, and I actually think yeah, but some Secret Rings have... is not as good as Sonic and the Black. <laughs> Black Knight was an improvement. Just because I think so. And I've actually played the first level. I like the sword idea. And yada, yada, yada. Because the approach this idea with an open mind, people. It's like, we gotta keep thinking down on Sonic games because they don't do yada, yada, this, or they don't do yada, yada, this. Well, why don't you go to Sega and make the game yourself? You see, you talk all this. Go to Sega, destroy their buildings, then make your own nostalgic, retarded game idea like Sonic you the game. It's just that Okay, these guys, Sega, the, Sega didn't think as hard as they did on this one. Like, they, they thought really hard on Unleash. And I think they're starting to realize how many rapid fanboys they have on their butts. And, it, I, and like how they, you, I like how they're handling it, too. And don't you think it would be, take out the sword in Sonic and the Black Knight. Don't you think it would be hard, really, really hard to kill all those enemies with your fist and your freaking feet? While spinning around. Well, you know that'd be another. That'd just be that'd be Sonic. That'd be Sonic and Secret Rings too, basically. Yeah, except this. Actually, you know what my favorite part about this game? <clears throat> what? That it makes a new Super Sonic. I know, and it's actually a pretty cool one too. I saw it. It looks su- it looks Super Sonic. He except it's in armor. Yeah, but I like. But the one thing I liked about Black Knight is that the it got the theme down pat. The story could have been thought out a little bit more. But they got it's too short. Too short, but the, I like the theme was was perfect. They nailed the theme correctly. I like the how they got the theme down. You know what my favorite thing about this game is though? What? The freaking plot twist. <laughs> yes, yes, the, yes, and we've got to say this is spoil this is spoilers all over the place. I mean I love that final boss fight with the Dark Queen. It was a really cool boss fight. Even though she, that that most of the bosses the are are easy, but the thing we should say is like, you know, we have to approach these Sonic games in a different way. Instead of listening to what the those guys say, it's you, you got to use your head for once. I'm not calling none of you guys stupid or retarded or nothing like that, but think about it. Okay, since so and so said this was bad, should I play it? Well, Bobby, you should rent it. Like I rented. Character. Bobby. I I don't know why I said Bobby, but I Bobby Philly. I rented next gen and I enjoyed it and I bought it later on. It was only twenty dollars too, so hey, cheap deal. You know what's the funny part about me getting some? I mean, Shadow the Hedgehog. What? My um my neighbor's friend hid it in GameStop, and my parents actually found it. Uh huh. Yes, and I actually got in. They were mad at me. Why? Because um, Ben, my friend, hid the game, and my mom found it, and she got me the game. So, of course. 
Wow. And I actually enjoyed it. And I actually had a dream when I was five. Yes, five. About <laughs> Sonic with a giant sword killing everything in sight, including Tails, Amy, Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Cut that out, man. But let's just say this. Everyone that buys into these reviews, you got to drop that junk right now. And you... I think he cut off Shadow's leg. Also, and you, you got to think for yourself. Stop letting these guys speak for yourself. You got to come with an open mind. I'm open-minded about all these Sonic games that are coming out to now. Some are bad, some are good, and some, <laughs> and some are decent. Let's keep an open mind and just think. Some of them are so bad, they're funny. Yeah, but all in all, Black Knight, pretty solid. Say you could do better, but pretty solid. Sonic's back, and that's all I have to say. Anything else, Brian? Well, I think this is a better improvement. It's not as good. I 